Q&A here from Patreon member Scott. Now usually I cover these in videos, but Scott sent me a whole list of questions. So let's go over these real fast. Some of you guys might find these answers interesting. All right, so here they are. These are pretty random. Uh, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie of all time is Hoosiers. It starred Gene Hackman. I think it came out in 1986. It's a movie about basketball. If you haven't seen that movie, go watch it. It's probably on Amazon Prime or maybe even YouTube. It's the best movie of all time, in my opinion. Really good movie. Gene Hackman's the best actor of all time also. So, uh, Hoosiers. All right, next question is, are you married? Yes, I am married. I've been married for 13 years. My wife's name is Linda. Are we ever going to see your wife in the videos? Probably not. She's chosen to be off camera, and that's her choice. So, uh, I'll respect her wishes. Maybe one day she'll want to be in a video, but as of right now, and I've been making YouTube videos since uh, 2016, so about seven years, she's never been in one. I doubt you'll ever see her in a video. I see Bruno in the videos. Do you have any other children? I do not. Me and Linda just have one child, and that's Bruno, and he is 11 years old. He'll be 12 years old on June the 23rd. I think he's gonna be 12 years old. My goodness, time goes by so fast. Yeah, 12 years old. That's awful. I tell you, I can't remember nothing anymore. What is your favorite log to saw? Probably a uh, crotch walnut. That's my favorite kind of species and log to sawmill. Right behind that would be white oak when I could quarter saw it. And behind that would probably be cedar. I really enjoy sawing cedar. It cuts up really good on this LT70. All right, how long have you been into sawmilling? I got my very first sawmill, an LT28 wood miser. I'll, I'll see if I can find a picture, I'll put it up on here, of my setup I was at about, you know, back in 2011. But that's when I bought my first sawmill, was 2011, that was LT28. I had that sawmill for two weeks, and wood miser has a 30 day money back guarantee. After two weeks of not having a hydraulic sawmill, and having to turn all the logs by hand. I didn't have a big enough tractor either to load the logs. I called up Woodmiser and I said, can I bring this one back? And they said, what's the problem? Well, I need a hydraulic one. And back then, if you wanted a sawmill, you didn't have to wait very long. It was about four or five weeks and you would have one. And they just happened to have an LT35 on hand. So I took that back to North Carolina. We switched it out for the LT35. I had that up until 20, uh, 2019, I think that's when it was, I sold that to a boy in West Virginia named Cody. He sent, sold it as well. That's when we got the LT40 wide. And then, you know, as you guys have seen on the channel here, almost two years ago, it'd be two years in September, we got the LT70, got the Super here. And this is the biggest sawmill as far as portable sawmills that Woodmiser makes. So I can't go up any higher. They do make industrial sawmills that run on three phase power. But as far as this platform goes, this is the biggest one Woodmiser made. So to answer that question, 2011. The first time I ran a sawmill was 2010. My friend Matt Fleener had a sawmill. It was an LT28. I did a few jobs with him, and that's where the sawmill bug kind of bit me right then. It was 2010. All right, and his last question is, how long does it take you to cut up a log? I've never timed myself, to be honest with you. But I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go in here, grab a cedar log. I'll put a fresh new Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7 on the mill. We'll put this cedar up here. I'm gonna put the camera back here beside me at the control stand. And we will time me and see how long it takes to cut up a cedar log while I'm not in here moving cameras around and I have a fresh new blade on the mill. 
Now these cedars aren't huge, they're about 10 or 12 inches diameter, but we're gonna be sawing them into four quarter boards, probably about six or eight inches wide. So we'll get in the tractor right now, go grab one of those logs, throw it on the mill and see how long it takes. <laughs> 